Now, listen, you guys. I think today I understood the reason why Bia has got a pen in her bio. Because when I tell you that girl is a rapper, rapper, I'm not kidding, okay? I think I might officially just declare this day World Bia Day. Because when I tell you her album is fire, I'm not exaggerating, you guys. I promise you. Meanwhile, Koile Ray is out there basically shading back lottery ticket. Because if you guys do not know, a few months ago, they had a little back and forth because lottery ticket had name dropped uh coily ray in a song and it seems like coily ray was not feeling it okay now cardi b is out there basically letting us know that she wants to go on station head and stream and drag a dummy and uh, for someone who just released a song i do not know uh why dragging a dummy would be necessary in my own opinion okay now hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug i trust you guys are doing well i trust you are doing great personally i am am doing extremely well it's a friday you guys so obviously i am in high spirits now without further ado let us dive straight into today's tea first of all we're gonna talk about Bia and really hair now the first video that i did or the first video of the day i told you guys that while well, she dropped and Nicki minaj was out there basically shouting her out and supporting her and i'm not mad at that i do feel like Bia has talent and i've always said that when it comes to lyricism she really is a star not only for her own songs but she does write for other people and i do feel like this album is evidence enough uh you know to basically show us that she really is a lyricist like that i was pleasantly surprised you guys when i listened to the album like i listened to every song at least thrice today you guys it was on repeat and i have to tell you that i loved every single track on that song and that is something that just doesn't happen you guys so honestly speaking congratulations to be a for that personally i did love the dance or tunes that she had in there honestly speaking i do not know you guys like i'm so excited i'm super excited i enjoyed it um and i do i will say that millions the one that stars nini leaks it is also nice and yeah so do hop into the comment section you guys and let me know which one of bs tracks is your favorite on that album and do you see this album doing numbers or what what exactly do you think about that now i did also see that she had uh like an album launch party and i did see a lot of people supporting her she really did seem like she was having a good time there and the dancehall part you guys and how diverse the floor is how diverse um you know the sounds are on that album it really does show artistry and diversity every the way everything came together i was like wow i'm impressed doja um oh my god why am i always talking about doja kate you guys i mean beer <laughs> maybe because i like doja kid but lately she has been disappointing and yeah speaking of doja kid who amongst you was out there basically telling me oh my god baby world is not uh, it's not doja kid and Nicki minaj it is ice spice and i'm like do you guys not know what the slip of the tongue is anyway i don't want to be mad at you <laughs> so anyway let's um yeah do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about a uh, bs album okay now the next thing that i'm going to be talking about Koyli Ray was out here basically shading lottery ticket. Like I told you, they had their entire situation before where Lato name dropped, um, you know, Koyli Ray. So Koyli Ray said, hop in that um, couch and roll a little Lato out of the bag. Now, listen, you guys know that I'm not a fan of lottery ticket, but I'm just like, Koi, if you're going to come back at someone, at least come back a little harder because this, in my own opinion, is a little, yeah, it's not that. And I don't even like lottery ticket like that. So I feel like if you're going to come back at someone, at least make it hard. That's just my opinion. So yeah, do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about Quayle Ray's shade towards lottery ticket. I did see a lot of people in the comment section saying that, oh my God, why are you pressed? Oh my God, you're stretching it. And I'm like, well, um, all is fair in love and war, you guys. It is lottery. We basically started name dropping uh, Quayle Ray. So if she, could, if she can do that, Quayle Ray can also do that. But I will emphasize that, Koi, you need to come, uh, you know, back a little harder than what you just did. Now, speak Speaking of Koyle Ray and her this, um, you know, towards lottery ticket, one person in particular saw it fit, okay, to basically come into the conversation and check Koyle Ray basically talking about how her album is not doing well, now it's crunch time and stuff like that. And drum roll, please, for the name of that person. Yeah, you guessed it right. It is Rolling Ray. 
Now, Rolling Ray and Koeli Ray have got an ongoing feud or beef because Rolling Ray thinks that uh, Koeli Ray basically stole his name. And I'm just like, listen, I miss. I'm just going to be honest. I But I did miss L Rolling Ray. I don't know where he has been lately. I haven't seen, I haven't been seeing a lot of him. And when we wanted them, when we needed them, uh, you know, the time that Saucy Santana was out there basically being funny, Rolling Ray was not here for it was not here was not around and i'm like where were you rolling when we needed you now you're basically coming for quail ray and we don't care for that girl okay you should have um you know resurfaced when we were dealing with uh you know saucy santana and he was doing all those shenanigans i know that if there's one person who can check saucy santana it is definitely rolling ray okay yeah so do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about rolling ray inserting himself and in this entire coil ray situation now the last thing that i'm gonna be talking about the transformer you guys it seems like she wants to go on station head um and stream and basically drag uh you know a dummy and i'm just like for someone who has a song that just came out I mean, why would you want to waste your time dragging a dummy instead of just, you know, promoting your music? I certainly do not understand you guys. After the whole back and forth that she had with Got The Scoop, I was just like, yeah, I, I don't know where she gets all that time to be doing all that, honestly. If <laughs> and you guys, I didn't talk about the song. How do you feel about Jealousy, you guys? I did watch it and um, I listened to it so that those of you who do not want to go and stream won't have to. I did listen to it on your behalf. And honestly speaking, I was a little bit underwhelmed uh, by Cardi B's verse. I mean, I expected more. For someone who wants to go tour to tour with Nicki Minaj, I mean, you would certainly expect more in terms of lyricism and delivery. But as usual, uh, lately, she hasn't been doing uh, you know, that great when it comes to delivery in her verses. And that's exactly what I saw. The video itself, I'm not mad at that. I do feel like the concept was dope. I feel like the concept was okay. Well, that is my personal my personal opinion. Um, yeah, the video was great. And obviously, there was strategy in there. But uh, in as far as her verse is concerned, I'm worried for her. If this is like the vibe that she has on the album, if ever the album is going to come out, I mean, I'm worried for her because a lot of people really were not feeling it. It's not just me, but if we're going to be honest, yeah, people were not feeling it. And some people were saying that because, yeah, you guys, so we also dropped her song, uh, you know, birthday and people were like, oh, my God, you should leave this, you know, rap thing. It's not for you. It's not your ministry. You're supposed to be pretty. And I'm like, if you're having this energy for Sawiti and her raps, you should be having the same energy for Cardi B. If you like jealousy, you certainly have to like birthday. Now I'm forcing you. I'm not even asking you. Okay? You, if you like jealousy, I'm now telling you, you certainly like birthday by Sawiti. <laughs> no, you guys, I'm kidding. You can like whatever you want to like. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, you guys. And thank you very much for making it this far. Do not forget to subscribe, 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 and comment in the comment section. Until my next one, see you.